Howdy trucks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck and I am with... Mr. Truck. And what do we have here? We have a 2015 Ram 2500 with a Cummins diesel. It's all black. It does look pretty badass in black, doesn't it? Even has 20 inch rims, yay. And what we're going to be doing with it? Well, we're going to take it up the Ike Gauntlet, aren't we? We are, we're going to tow the horse trailer, the Ike Gauntlet. That's going to be slick and that's coming up next. Alright guys, once again up the Ike Gauntlet and this time we are in a big boy truck, right? Yes we are. It's a 4x2 yeah. Ram and um, the 2, reason 2500 and the reason it's a 4x2 is well let me get to that once Ready? we get past the start. And start. Alright, wide open throttle guys. And once again, this is not always just about how fast we go up the hill, but more importantly, how it tows going up the hill. And <laughs> my God, this Cummins is moving this thing. How much are we towing, Nathan? We are towing 12,250 pounds. Originally, it was 12,000 pounds, but we compensated with an extra 250 pounds because this is a 4x2. It's not a four-wheel drive. Usually, when we do these runs, it's in a 4x4 truck. I'm having to back off already. This thing's like a scalded cat. Yeah. It's just really... Really fast. It's a bit of a beast, isn't it? It's a oh, beast. Can yeah. <laughs> I see what gear it is? Or yeah, I got it in the uh, MPG mode. Okay, because I can yeah. show gear ramp by hitting that. Now we have on right now our tow haul mode, our engine brake, yep. and uh, what else we got? It's we have dust brake, and we've got yeah. We also have it in alternative trailer height, so this will lower the truck about an inch, leveling out the truck. Making better, better dynamics for aero, aerodynamics for fuel economy and braking. Whenever you're level with your truck and trailer, that's when your best braking is. This baby's got the 6.7 liter Cummins. That's 370 horsepower, but more importantly, 800 pound feet of torque. Right. Is that all because of that 342 axle ratio? Or yeah, but it's 342. It's um, not the high output. Right? No. I am the Cummins turbo diesel, blah, 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 blah. Other diesels, no, no, no. Big one, I come and smack you all around. Yes, I've had a lot of coffee today, but most importantly, I'm with the 6.7 liter turbo diesel from Cummins that puts out 370 horsepower and 800 freaking pound feet of torque, way down at 1600 RPM. It's hooked up to a six speed automatic transmission going straight to the rear wheels. This is not a four by four, but man, can it pull like a train. So this vehicle, as tested, comes in at $61,535. It's cheaper than the 3500, obviously. And once again, this is another vehicle that is competitive price-wise. This one is oh. much quieter than it was in the 3500. That 3500 was really loud. Right. So now, now that the uh, Ike Gauntlet has started to bite a little bit, I'm wide open throttle, keeping at the speed limit, which is still impressive with how much weight we're towing. Yeah, and with, and with that axle ratio, that also changes how many RPMs we are doing, which would make it quieter. Oh, just exceeded it. I got to back off. Sorry. Yeah, and so your top end is going to be higher, and also will affect a little bit on the grade shift. How did this grade shift down the hill? You know, it did really well. I really felt like I had a lot of control going down the hill. Uh, in fact, uh, it was grade shifting so well that I think I had to tap the brake once or twice. Well, that's, that's good. That's how well it... Uh, there we go. Now I got to floor it now. That's how well it did going down the hill. It just seems to be... Uh, a really well sorted truck in terms of its towing capability. Here we are again with another contestant for the Fast Lane Trucks Golden Hitch Award. This is that same loading coach we've used several times, same kind of weight we've used before, it's 12,000 pounds loaded. To do that, we had to put water totes in. I, I think they're water totes. Yep, nothing's moving around. Let the bull door rip. And there you have it, three water totes. So that gives us a 12,000 pounds total weight that we're towing. Real similar to what we've done in the past. Now this 2015 2500 Ram with the Cummins, three quarter ton crew cab, has a towing rating of 17,500. So we're well within that. The gross combined weight rating of that truck is 25,300. And we are at 20,500 between the truck and the trailer. So we're well within the limits. And we've got everything balanced well, we're ready to go up the hill. 
see how well this does pulling 12,000 pounds. The other thing I want to say is, guys, the Ike Gauntlet is a timed run, of course, from about 9,000 to the top of the Eisenhower Tunnel, which is under 12,000, uh, and it's an extreme towing test, so this is about as extreme as it gets because, let's face it, there's less air density here in Colorado, and so what we're doing is we're stressing the truck not just with the weight, but with the amount of air that it can use to combust, uh, and turbos do help make up for that a little bit, but nevertheless, yeah. it's an extreme test. Still we, are, power. we are flying up this hill, Nathan. I'm so impressed. We got the mirrors folded out. Same mirrors that's on the one to 3500. There's great visibility. Oh, they're great. I love these mirrors. I love these towing mirrors. I can see exactly what's going on. Um, you know, I, I, this is probably one of the truckiest trucks, if that makes sense. Right. I think it's got the best visibility of the trucks. Without those big duels that the 3500 has, you can see everywhere on this. You can see well off the nose, well off the side. I, I, I like the visibility on this truck. Now, if you were to ask me, uh, we need more weight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be our new problem on this, on this run. I know. It's just so capable. Uh, of course, it is a 60 plus thousand dollar truck, but, ne but nevertheless, it's just flying up this hill, and I feel like I have complete control. Uh, I'm really impressed by this truck. It's a big black brute, isn't it? Now, I mean, really in terms of size, it's not that much different than the dually, other than the fact that you don't have the dually rear end. But all together, I mean, we're talking about a massive vehicle, and there's something I wanted to show you, and that's right back here with the Ram Box. The Ram Box is awesome. You're able to open this up and put small human beings in here, or lunch meat, or water balloons, or my personal favorite, yogurt. You could just totally fill that up with yogurt. In terms of an overall styling thing with being black and black and black and black and everything black, yeah, it's cool. Unless you don't like black. The ride is much better with the trailer on it. We've driven in this one as well, completely unladen, and it was pretty bouncy. But it only has, it doesn't have the four wheel suspension, uh, air suspension, right? That's right, it just has the rear airbags, which replace the coils on this five link system. I think this is one of the better riding air rides out there. I think it's better than what the 1500 has. And I think, you know, the 110, we're still waiting to see a few more of those come out. So we have more of those to play with. But I think this is an excellent ride. And yes, I think air is the future. But, you know, I think that really settles this truck down. That lowering the, the, the height on this with the air, that's how that works. You got two advantages just right there. Plus, you know, I think it's a, an ideal way to keep your truck level for trailer. You're not going to shine your headlights in the air. Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredibly uh, well sorted, like I say. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Good ride, good uh, braking. I got, look at this. I'm flying so far, I have to go in the fast lane. Can you believe that? I'm actually going <laughs> in the fast lane, towing this much weight. Yeah, and even at this speed, with those RPMs, it's a quiet truck. It is a quiet truck. You do you know it's a Cummins? You can always tell that sound. Yeah, it is certainly an unusual and unique sound that Cummins has. I also like... Um, this big meaty steering wheel, I feel like uh, gives me good, good, good grip on the truck. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that size fits me. The one in the Laramie Longhorn, the big wood one, that one's a little big for me. But I like this one's comfortable. Well, it's safety first here at the fast lane truck. We are using weight distributing hitches on both of our bumper pull trailers, our conventional trailers. That's what it says in the owner's manual, so that's what we're going to do. We're using an Anderson no sway hitch. It's a great hitch, easy to put on, and that's how we're doing it to make this tow very well up the mountains in, in heavy traffic. Thank Nick Campa personally from uh, Ram for actually bringing these trucks out to us. But I kind of felt like the Ram was just a little too small. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, right, Kent? And Nathan, the uh, 3500 was just a little too big, and this is just <laughs> right. <laughs> there is some story about that I heard when I was 12. You probably heard it when you was three, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how it is. This one's just right. When, um, 
people buy these sort of trucks, uh, the 2500s, what are the uses for without you know having to go to the dueling kind? Oh, I would say this is a little bit of, a bit of the lifestyle truck. This one here can be really nice for the owner of a business right off his taxes. This one is so useful. You can pull your, your very large traders with this. I mean, we're easily towing 12,250. So, you know, you can get a lot higher on that. You can get a lot higher on a gooseneck. And then you've got a truck that you can use for everything. It's a crew cab. Put your family in it. Take the boat or take the, you know, take the backhoe and go do your work. So this kind of a truck would fit a lot of application. That's why it's such a popular size is a 2500. Yeah. You don't have the duels in the way and all that. I think we're going to have a lightning fast time. This is going to be competing with some of the fastest times ever up the like gauntlet. And we've had a clean run too. Yeah, this is, you could have gone faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, I've had an opportunity to check out the 3500 fully loaded Longhorn Laramie, and that has a beautiful interior. This one is nice, but it's all trimmed in black, so it sort of takes away some of that style, even though it's really there. The good news is that all the components feel high-end. When you turn the knob, it actually feels like there's a little bit of resistance, which is what you want. The seats are very well packed and are very comfortable, front and rear. Bottom line is that this is a very comfortable luxury truck that just doesn't look very luxurious. What are we, what are we doing? How are we doing here? We're doing really good. We're almost up to the lights, and, right? And, and you know what? The other incredible thing is our average MPG is 4.4 .4 right that now. That is impressive right now. Yeah, that's about one above the average. We're coming up to the lights, but I can't quite see. I'm sitting kind of high. Yeah, I'll let you know when we get there. We're right. almost there. We're, getting to the conclusion of the Ike Gauntlet, and it's been a clean run, which is uh, quite amazing with uh, this kind of winter weather. Okay, here we go, Nathan. Okay. Yeah, I'm backing down because I see the speed limit now. 7.33. Holy cow. That's awful, yeah. <laughs> now, the, the best so far has been the GMC 3500 diesel at 7.52. And what was our gas mileage? Uh, it was 4.4, uh, I think. I didn't look, but we'll check again when we look at the video. I stayed yeah, in the right I think it was 4.4. Yeah. It was the last time I glanced at it. So, yeah, yeah, this is this is interesting that this has done this well. This is a, kind of a surprise truck. I mean, it's always been a, a favorite truck of mine, but this one is actually it's beating a few things, and it, it surprises me. Yeah. And that's, that's how, that's how Kevin says they sneak up on you. They sneak up on you. You don't know how fast you're going. You hear, you know, some of the, some of the power, but this one, you, you just, it's, it's a, it's always a truck that surprised me on how fast it went when I wasn't expecting it. So, we have to say that uh, this has been, out of the three trucks that we tested today, this has been a revelation. Or Yeah, we, this is the most surprising. Or we need to get more weight kit. Yeah, I think we should get more weight. <laughs> With an asking price of $61,535, you may think this is an expensive truck, but really, for towing and having serious capability and day-to-day -day drivability, it's not too bad. This baby can tow up to 17,500 pounds, but what we have back here is a 12,000 pound trailer. And part of that has to do with the fact that we're trying to keep all the numbers even between other trucks that we've taken up the hill. This tote, by the way, this can be filled up with up to 2,400 pounds of water. <laughs> so, there you have it, guys. As always, to my right is Mr. Truck, KenZumbling.com. In the back, Nathan. And of course, driving this bad boy Roman thanks for watching and remember the reason we're doing this is because we've got the gold hitch best towing truck in the land competition happening uh, next month in April Nathan what are the five categories for the gold hitch award all right here we go folks you've got the midsize you've got half ton then you have heavy duty both gas and diesel and then you have heavy duty SUVs. Yes, so we're doing SUVs as well. So, if you're curious about what the best towing truck in the land, we're going to find that out in April. And if you're curious about all the numbers, we always put them up on tfltruck.com. See you guys next time. Ciao. Bye. Bye.